Okay, so this is an SCP system control panel. Uh, it says it just above it up there, and sorry, I, I don't feel like moving the camera. I'm not that good. Anyways, this is an SCP system control panel. It'll control different Schneider, you know, Connex systems. So this here system is the one that's running at my house. So I always say exit, exit, then we know that you're back at the start. So when we go down one, so we're just going to push the down button, we go down one, it says up top there that I'm on the home page, as you can see. The, the home, that's, you can see that XW6848, it says that I'm selling to the grid, and I'm selling very little, it's late in the evening. Go down again, it tells the charge controller, so I have two charge controllers, that's controller number one. I harvested today 14.6 kilowatts, and it's charging the batteries on bulk right now, and you can see that it's charging very little, 2.6 amps. Second charge controller, same thing, I'm charging 2.5 amps, it's on bulk, and I harvested 14.3, so 14.3 plus the other one, 14.6, so it's you know 26, 27 kilowatts is what I harvested today. Okay, so the second one, now I'm going into the battery monitor. So it says my battery's at 55 volts, charging a little bit. I'm at 100% state of charge, so my battery's totally full, and my battery temperature is 28 Celsius. So it's getting warm, but it was warm outside here today. My batteries sit outside. I take the insulated cover off in the summertime, so it kind of runs with the temperature of the day. Next one, my automatic generator start, and it's turned off right now, okay? Go around again, system status. So as I always say, exit, exit, gets us back to the start. Uh, just need a pencil so I can kind of point directions here. This 125 kilowatts AC1, that's the power from the grid. So that's grid power or generator power. In my case, it's uh, grid power. Now I'll take it, I'll go into it. Uh, if I go enter, enter I see system settings. If you had any um, errors, if the light was flashing up here, you'd go into system settings, push enter, go all the way down, okay, you go through all these things. View fault list, go enter, I have no faults. Okay, go warning list, go enter, and you can see if I have any warnings. So that's just a quick overview.